What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So today, we're actually modifying the Fiesta. I've not forgot I own it. I know I've got the M4 now, but we still love the ST. Um, just before I do start, I actually have four, la four free, not a yards, um, sun strips in stock, ready to be dispatched. So if you want to grab one these yourself, I recommend you go grab one now, links below. But yeah, today, I guess you could already tell from the thumbnail, we're installing a brand new AdSet Motorsport intercooler to the Fiesta ST. It's needed it for a long time, and yes, my stock one is still being held up with cable ties, like the rest of the car. So you can complain about that in the comments. So first things first, I'm gonna take the front bumper and headlights and that off. It literally takes me five minutes because it's all held together with cable ties because I'm a genius, so I've just got to snap both of them. Undo literally four screws, hold my entire thing on, and then we can put the new cooler on and have some good boosties and it's just like raining so I can't even take it out for a drive afterwards because I'll probably act or plane. How to remove headlights on Fiesta ST. Snip. 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 One screw left and the headlights are out. Perfect. Now, this is b 17 wires top tip of the day. So, as you can see, everyone knows about the three 10mm screws that go down each wings. We don't really do these up this tight, because once they get in, they don't really do anything extra if you, like, over-tighten them. So, if you tighten them just enough, do you watch here, you see the threads just here. I can spin it with my hand. It's now kind of, I'll do it here, because there's light here, so you can see a lot better. So, see it's there? What you get? Get myself out of the light. Right, you see it's there, yeah? And watch underneath. Obviously, the top ones, this is the easiest, but the third ones back are harder. You see that? I just spin that by hand. The other one there is spinning by hand now. And the bottom one. Or oh, the middle, sorry, I missed. They all just spin by hand, so you can just get these out ten times easier, because these are the worst things in the world to use. Meanwhile, you're eating my old headlight fixings. Perfect. Also, while I'm working this today, this part of the bumper, for some reason that curves out, so I think maybe it needs some heat just to bend it back in. I might try to do that. But also, it's never really sat correctly up to this wing. Um, you can see here it's like been bent up a bit, and if you look down here, see the paint's cracked here, but um, in here it's sort of twisted. So I might try and straighten this out while it's all off. Um, the other side around here, there is a slight gap when it is up, but as you can see, it's not twisted or bent. So when the bumper is actually in the slot, fits perfectly there, slight gap at the top, but if I lifted it up, I could sort of equal it out. But round here, I'll lift it in quick. You can see that gap is bad. And that one there is not too bad. Um, hopefully one day I'll have a wire that will cover it. So the main thing I'm worried about is trying to get this sorted. Otherwise I'll pay like 50 quid for another wing, but if I can just fix it by twisting it and hitting it a bit, that's perfect. But yeah, literally, I've took all the wing ones out now. So if you ever need to get them 10 mils out, you do not need to over tighten them. So don't worry about gunning them or like just hanging off the end of your sockets, some wrenches, whatever. Just simply do them by hand because it's not going anywhere. They fit in perfectly fine. All they're going into is like the spire clips anyway. Um, and then, yeah, like all I've got to do now is take my front bumper off is undo these two 10 mil bolts and it's done. And then. Eject old bumper, see that both wings are done. Perfect. And now, eject old front bumper. I still need to get this painted, I know. I just need to get the fiberglassing done. I'm trying to get it sorted, but you have no idea how much of a ball like it is when we get this sorted and still produce other things. I don't want to spend all my money wasted on getting that done when I could make improvements to other cars. Out the bumper. Good. Right, so obviously this is the front crush bar. Still held on by the cable ties, the intercooler. Everyone at the moment said it's gonna fall off. It's literally been like five months and it has been flawless, okay? Flawless. So yeah. But now it's just due an upgrade. And then we can actually feel behind that grill. I do want to also sand the backing down so when the cooler is on. You'll be able to see like the stencil better, but it is the most annoying thing ever to do. It takes 
quite a long time. I could dremel it out, but it's so time consuming. I just need like a big, I need like an angle grinder with a floppy disk and just whack it all off. But um, I don't want to do it today because it's quite boring. I'd rather just get some to do it for me. Or just literally some people just sell them for like 10 quid already cut out on Facebook Marketplace. I like Fiesta for them, so I might just do that just to save me having to do it. You don't want these, mate. No. No, you don't want these. All right. Injecto. Into cooler. Yeah. What do you think? Comprehensive review on Intercooler. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right. Now just got to undo these seven mils and she's off. Ta-da! Should have been a magician. All right, now let's get the new bad boy out of the car, get it mounted up, and get b b b boosting But yeah, it should look sick. I'm excited. I need it on the car, it'll be cool. So, here we have it. This is the brand new Stage 2 Plus Intercooler from Airtop Motorsport. Um, it comes with obviously the silicon and the elbows. I've already put them on before this video. I just had it like preset up, but it looks so much better. It looks so sick compared to the stock one. And it's really going to make the front end come together. You may ask why I've got a white stencil and not like a orange or red, whatever you want to call it. Simply because what I want to do to this car, this is going to look 10 times better with it. Um, I do also like the standard like silver looking finish. I can't remember what it's called. Like just the, the alley sort of look. But um, I thought we'll go for the black. It keeps the sort of stealth looking. And then you've got the actual stencil to pop it as well. So this is the Stage 2 Pro, the new ones. Make sure you go check these out. I'll leave them top link in the description if you want to grab one of these for yourself. But um, it's so easy to install. And uh, probably a lot of you are going to be asking why I didn't go for a Stage 3 or a Stage 1 for that even. With this car, I don't plan to go Stage 3 straight away. I don't want to whack a turbo on it. I'm probably going to go Stage 2 for a while and just sort of run it that way. And obviously this is cheaper than the Stage 3 option. But it also can do up to like 300 brake horsepower. So it's not really something I have to worry about for a long time. And it's just going to do the job perfectly. So we're going to get that on now. We're going to have much better temps for the calls. And uh, it's going to make the driving experience a lot better. So let's get this beauty mounted up. And um, just before I show you how, well, I'm about to tell you how actually. It's very, very easy to mount this. All there is. There's two pins on the back welded on with brackets and I've just got to slot them straight in there and that is it. And then I've just got to tighten up the Jubilee clips and um, yeah, that's how you install it. You haven't got to do any drilling, cutting, blah, blah, blah. Hang it, bolt it back together and you're done. And we have a 10 times better looking car, so it's sick. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. These were like the smallest grips I could find, but um, I've been sort of like just leaving it on there, bending it as straight as well. It doesn't look straight there, but it looks a lot better than it did before. What I'm gonna do now is put the bumper on, and then when it's on, I can still get in here, and just try and like sort of pinch them together to straighten it out, and um, that should be good. But yeah, in the call, as I said, is on, ready to go. I've just got to reconnect my old um, intake hose sort of things. Well, not intake, but brake cooling hoses. And um, then she's a good one, but yeah, it looks so much better now. Got the air tech, the air tech, the air tech. Jeez. It literally looks, that that just makes it look 10 times better. Like, it looks like a race car and that is what we want. That is sick. Let's get this on now. I had them like crimped on together and it was very close, but um, it's got a bit tighter, but I still need to do some more. But if you look now at the front bumper at the front, look at that. It looks perfect, but like, it looks so sick. That's gonna look so cool. Especially when the bumpers are put the right colour. That could help, but um I got a new iron howl heat gun and I'm gonna try and sort of heat this up and push it in. See so, like doing things it just bulges out if you look at it. So um yeah, we'll see how this goes, but I'm probably just gonna burn my fingertips or something. So yeah. Oh the heat. Oh yes, all the powers. At B7's body shop. I think that's a lot better, I can't lie. It's a little kink and it's still sort of closer to the edge, but it is 10 times better than it was before, so I am happy with that. The gap still needs to sort out. I'm going to have to do something while I'm still holding this piece of wood. Um, yeah, 
that's going to be fixed eventually. But um, yeah, bumpers back on. Just got to put things in. Yeah. Oh yes, that is sick. And um, yeah, then we can get out on the road. I mean, it's soaking wet and I'm in semi slicks, but we can get on the road at least. Yes. Yes, that does look sick. Before you say it, before you comment it, I already tell you, mate. That looks so good. And do you already know? It's doing wonders for the car as well. The Fiesta, yeah. It looks so cool at the moment. I can't lie. The wheels, the intercooler. I know the bumper doesn't help the situation of the Fiesta look. If if that oh, is right, imagine the bumper orange. Everyone be like, oh, it's a sick Fiesta, mate. Because it's not, it looks shit. Fair enough. But yeah, I haven't got my keys on me. I've locked myself out. But uh, we've got the K brace. We got the sparkle seats. We got the wheels, and we got now the coilovers. So we got a complete package going on. Like you can't tell me that don't look cool. On the 15s with the hook rear discs. Need some sort of front disc situation going on. Need some upgrades ASAP. Sort the exhaust out. But I've got some big news coming. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it. So make sure you follow me on Instagram, be some TMY. Um, massive things come with this car. I'm not going to say it in this video just yet. I'm going to make a whole video of it, what we've got going on. It's insane. It's only one other in the sort of world or country has done this. It's, <laughs> it's going to be mad. It's very much out of my league, the depth of what we're about to do to this car. But we're gonna take this from zero to 100 like it's gonna be insane like this is not an understatement or nothing <laughs> i'm so excited to reclaim the fiesta st title that i so used to have like my fiesta st was the nuts in my personal opinion a lot of people thought as well i've got a whole bunch of stuff for this coming and some already here so it's gonna go crazy, but just for wrap this video up as well, I forgot to mention. I mentioned earlier, well, the other day, that um, we've got sunshades back in stock, but we've also got lanyards back. So if you want to grab one now, we'll even think they will look really nice, and the quality is banging. So um, check them out as well. Make sure you check out the coolers, the intake, everything the AirTech do. They are what the one sort of like the one stop shop for Fiesta STs. If you need anything, that's where you go. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it hope you can't wait to see what's next if you don't know what I'm about there's a sneak preview on my instagram so make sure you check that out b7ty i'll see you on the next one check out air right sport and yeah i'll see you all soon i'm so excited i can't can't contain the excitement but yeah m4's got things coming that's getting a lot of stuff added this week it's gonna turn mad very soon so yeah like comment subscribe see you next one it's all right.